Welcome, my friend. Do you require information? Namor is the first known hybrid of Homo sapiens and Homo mermanus, humans and merpeople. He can breathe water and air, but if he's away from water too long, he will begin to weaken. As with most merpeople, he has an inborn distrust of surface dwellers, and true to his belligerent nature, Namor can take his distrust to the extreme. The Atlanteans are distant cousins to your race. Having evolved on the ocean floor, it is impossible for them to breathe air. Because they live in the extreme conditions of the ocean, mer people are very hardy. They are stronger than humans, can swim up to 30 miles per hour, and live to be over 150 years of age. I am glad to be of assistance. Hi, it's good to see you. Do you need something? The mutant amplifier vastly augments any mutant's natural power. So a psychic that can lift a book will become powerful enough to lift a bus. Yes, but it has some serious side effects. The amplifier causes damage to the DNA of any mutant it's used on. Not much. The serum's only worked on Captain America. There's something very peculiar about his physique. That, plus the doctor who originally developed it, is dead. He'd wind up with a bunch of muscle-bound beasts, just like you saw in the Omega. They're psychotic, violent, unable to take orders. Not exactly what you'd want from an army. Ah, there was no... We just received a message from Nemorita, the cousin of Nemor. Apparently, there is a riot going on in Atlantis. Unknown, but for some reason, the Atlanteans have forcibly removed Nemor from his throne. Yes, which means something is seriously wrong. See Wyatt when you are ready to go to S.H.I.E.L.D.'s outpost in Atlantis. We do not know. He has been a fair and just ruler for many years. The people love him. Perhaps. But Namor has always been kind to his people. There has to be some other explanation for this mass hysteria. When Mer people and surface dwellers first met, there was quite a bit of hostility. There were even several invasion attempts. The relationship between our two races is lukewarm at best. The Mer people prefer to keep us at arm's distance. Once you reach our Atlantis outpost, you will be infected with a special nanotechnology. Mr. Fantastic and Dr. Pym had a hand in developing it. It will allow you to breathe water with no discomfort. You will also be able to move along the bottom of the ocean as if you were moving on dry land. My apologies. I should have given it to him as soon as we arrived. Please, take this to him. You are quite welcome. Well done on the Omega mission. Will you have the same success in Atlantis? S.H.I.E.L.D.'s directive is to keep the world peace. To do that, we have to monitor the activities of every major civilization. I'm sure they wouldn't be too happy, and that's why they aren't going to find out about it. We realize now that Doom had no intention of commandeering the Helicarrier. They attacked to draw additional security forces there. Correct. The Omega and the experiments it held was their prime objective all along. Dugan's still trying to sort things out, but apparently the base sustained only minor damage. Yes, they've been locked in a cold storage unit on level three. Aside from some minor cases of frostbite, everyone was fine. You're welcome. Yes. Colonel Fury, Red Rolfson is on line six. Warning, a small thermal nuclear device is missing, and this was last seen in the weapons lab. 
Hello again. I am... Could I ask a big favor of you? Would you ask Dr. Pym if he could take a look at the Quinjet's data feed to Stark Tower? It cuts out every once in a while. Anytime. Johnny Storm would like you to announce that today is Ben Grimm's 65th birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Grimm. Hey, Thor. How was your mission to the Omega base? Greetings, Hank. Ah, oh, that's right. The Quinjet's comm line to the Stark Tower was cutting out. I'll take care of that right away. Ah, good. Hi. It's good to see you. Listen up, people. We've been sent here to investigate a situation in Atlantis. What kind of situation are we talking about here, Cap? An hour ago, Namorita sent a message saying a riot's taking place. A crowd broke into the throne room of Atlantis and dragged Namor off his throne. Why would the Atlanteans riot? They love Namor. I don't know. Namorita had to stop transmitting before she could give any details. How are we to handle a mission in the undersea conditions of Atlantis? There's nanotechnology at this outpost that will let us breathe and move normally through the water. I want to remind you, the Atlanteans aren't exactly big fans of us surface dwellers. What if they become violent? Defend yourselves. We have to help Namor any way we can. He's a valuable ally. That's it. Let's be careful out there. Onward! To battle! Good. Locate the nano chamber and activate it. Once the nanites are in your bloodstream, you're free to enter the water. against the God of Thunder.
rendered him unconscious. He's in no condition to fight. If you went to the ancient temple of Negretti, you'd find seaweed I can use to heal Namor. My people are being brainwashed by devices called sonic emitters. It's part of a Tuma scheme to steal the throne from my cousin. He's a barbarian chief who's always thought he was destined to conquer Atlantis. Looks like he might be right. You've got that right. The Guardians are trained to protect the temple against all invaders, surface dwellers in particular. You need to find an extremely rare plant known as Waelic seaweed. It's very valuable and will be well protected.
of a challenge, really. You never should have come.
good guys. Good. Get back here fast. That seaweed doesn't last long after it's picked. Let me open up a whirlpool for you. It'll bring you right back to my location. Didn't see that coming, did you? Good. You've got the ingredients. Give me a minute. What's this? I dreamt my people were in danger, and my realm was stolen from me. It's no dream, cousin. A tomb has taken your throne and enslaved your people. But you're still much too weak to fight. No. I'll not forsake my people in their time of need. Very well. I had not thought you surface dwellers were capable of such kindness. If you succeed, I will be forever in your debt. You're near the sonic emitters. They're what's making the Atlanteans so violent. Be very careful now. Atuma would not leave the devices unguarded. emitters, Krang. Then these humans are as foolish as they are weak, my cousin. They stand no chance against our combined might. True, but I do savor a chance for battle. I grow bored guarding these devices. As do I. But acting as guards has put us in Atuma's good graces. And that puts us near the throne. Ha <laughs> ha and down the road, who is to say what might happen to King Atuma, eh, cousin? My feelings exactly. Now let us dispose of these interlopers and prove to Atuma just how trustworthy we are. Did you?
I had fun. Did you? Had enough yet? Be gone from Atlantis! Ready or not, here we go. Flee while you can! By your command. Sure. for the good guy. return to normal. Now you should get to the throne room of Atlantis as fast as you can. Yes, and who knows what he'll do when he finds out you're ruining his plans. Get knocked down again. Repay you. Here is the combination to a safe located in a nearby sunken submarine. Please use it and take whatever you find. All right. Go no further, surface dweller. out 
out of health. I, I feel fun. as mighty as Morgan! <laughs> Too easy. Look, Atuma. These must be the ones who've been causing you so much trouble. Indeed. And they will pay for their transgressions. Your devotion to Namor is pitiful, surface dweller. He is lost, and as foretold in the Atlantean Chronicles, I will be the ruler of Atlantis. Don't worry about these idiots, Atuma. Your loyal minions are more than happy to take care of them. If you say so. The might of Thor, villain! Thank you. 
dare you enter my throne room, surface dwellers? Kneel before the king of Atlantis! Fools! You will pay for your insolence! Let me teach them a lesson, Atuma. No. We will work together, Tiger Shark, and we will make them pay dearly for their transgressions against the King of Atlantis! Masters of evil. They helped Atuma in return for letting them take whatever they wanted from the catacombs. Probably. There's a lot there to search through. My target's down.
running low. allowed me free reign of the catacombs in return for the sonic emitters. And I just now located our prize, the Tome of Asarius. I'm sorry, but I have no time for questions. I must be on my way to the Valley of Spirits. But before I go, allow me to summon a little entertainment room. It's the least I can do.
Many thanks. Atlantis owes you a debt of gratitude. And Namor would like to say something. Surface dwellers, I'll have you know I was perfectly capable of handling the situation alone. Yes, well, you did. So I suppose I should thank you. You now have my permission to leave Atlantis. You did a good job in Atlantis. Who knows? Atlanteans may even start to tolerate us surface dwellers. And that's why your next stop is his palace in the Valley of Spirits. Yes, I want you to discuss things with Mandarin. Find out what the Masters of Evil are planning. Talk to Black Widow for additional information. Or see Mr. Wingfoot if you're ready to go now.